I ate his kidneys with a nice can of fava beans and a nice Chianti. Alright, well, the point of this video is I, um, wanted to talk about Bear Grylls and Les Stroud. The thing is, they're both good survival instructors, but I guarantee you their will to survive is stronger than what they let on. They are fully capable of cannibalism. Now, they don't give any hints towards that, but um, I do believe that given the right circumstances, their will to live would be greater than you would expect. Like, uh, Les Stroud did an episode, Lost at Sea, where he was in our life raft. Now, I have heard of uh, several instances where there's been more than one person in a life raft, and they've consumed the other person in order to survive long enough to make it to an island or to wherever. Now, Les Stroud, or Survivor Man, did make it a point to say that at the bottom of his raft, that fish were accumulating there. They were going there because they, uh, they just figured it was a bigger fish and they would be better off. Although it was just a life raft. But, in reality, that would be very difficult for Les Stroud to catch without the proper equipment. Which he wouldn't have in that situation because he was demonstrating the point that um, this is when you'd be tipped over side of a boat in a storm or whatever. And he just, he had a pair of swimming goggles which help, would help. But those fish can move a lot faster than, than you can grab them. And without a spear or a hook or something, you're just not going to catch them. So, he would probably entertain the idea of trying to catch these fish that way for a while. But after some time, if he were with someone, guaranteed him or Bear Grylls would commit cannibalism. Because they, they want to live. Like most people do. Most people don't want to die in the middle of the ocean or die in some other circumstance. And the thing is, you may go, well, you can survive three weeks without food. But reality is, you can only survive two, three days, maybe even less, in certain heat, without water. But the thing is, blood itself is something like 92% uh, water. So, yeah, you, you could survive quite a long time. Um, resorting to cannibalism, unfortunate as it is. But some people have no other choice. They have to go about doing that sort of thing. And although you may look at them with disgust afterwards, you either you would have done the same thing or you would be dead. That's just the cold, hard reality of it. Now, as with me, I'm drinking a nice glass of Chianti. And I'm going to have beans later on. Not fava beans, but uh, beans. And, um, anyway, um, point is, given the right circumstances, I would probably eat the flesh of another human being as well. Not to say I want to do that, but you know what? When I think about it deeply, I really don't want to die if I don't have to. So, um, I certainly don't want to be a chump and go, oh, no one's ever going to do that to me, and then have that happen to me, and then they survive and I don't, and they get away with it. Because that's the thing about uh, cannibalism out in the ocean is uh, you 
for the most part, get away with it. Um, given the circumstances, because there's just no other way to survive. You, you'll die otherwise. And I'm not having somebody lord it over me that uh, they survived because I was stupid and was, you know, consumed because of that. I mean, if it was a woman, it would be sexually attractive, but in theory, anyway, as far as pornography goes and all that kind of stuff, but in practice, uh, no, it wouldn't be. I, I wouldn't like that. But anyway, that's a whole other side topic. So the point is, um, Bear Grylls and Les Stroud never really mentioned it in any of their uh, videos, in any of their episodes. I watched all of them, I would know. But I know they would go the distance, they would do that. And um, that's what you got to expect from situations that can occur that require extreme survival circumstances. Like I said, Les Stroud would, I, I believe he would make an honest attempt to catch those fish under his under his raft but i just know that they'd be impossible to catch it would be it'd be so hard without proper implements and you wouldn't have that if you were a castaway so given these facts les stroud seems to be the more sensible more reasonable person than bear grills but i do believe he would go down the same exact same path in fact, Les Strow makes fun of Bear Grylls for drinking his own pee, but guess what? That's not that big a deal in survival situations. Les Strow would do the exact same thing. He really would. So anyway. Yeah, the point of my video was your survival experts, they would resort to cannibalism given the right circumstances. Anyway, talk to you guys later. See ya.